Next we are taking the capacitor and if you turn the numbers facing yourself and the legs away it's going to be on the right side and negative on the capacitor is down that's going to be leg one and the second leg is going to touch number two and I want it to point slightly upwards something like that so we're going to bend leads and zero legs like this and we're going to just bend them nicely and we turn it around and we shall turn this around so we have switched sides let's see if we can do this hard to get together something slow and the big capacitor negative of the capacitor to leg one and we're gonna solder leg two first so we get it in place and then see we can tack number one two there we are Not too bad. And we're gonna cut off on leg number one. We don't need that. But my plan is to use this now to do the crossover from leg two to leg six. That's the connection from two to six. So we are gonna take this one now and bend it towards number six and get a small place so you can get down and then nicely in there oh look he has one arm a big bulky arm and Let's start doing the transistor, I think. I was going to check it once more with my little transistor tester. So don't turn it backwards. And now we're strange. So collector 1, base 2 and emitter number 3. Yep. So we're going to take the transistor and the flat side facing us with the first leg here that's the collector it's gonna take touch or good connected to leg eight the base is gonna get connected to leg number six yeah that's right and this is gonna go, the third leg here is the emitter it's going to the diode later so first of all we're gonna get these two right so we, so flat side towards us so we're gonna have the lowest the leg to the left is gonna go to the eight. That's the one at the bottom. We're gonna jump over number seven, and now number six is gonna get connected to the middle leg. That's the base. So let's turn it over again. Nicely. Checking the soldering. Well, we have LED, which is going to do a bit of work on because oh, it depends on what LED you have. This is a bright white one, and it has an only 20 degree angle of a light. It basically just shoots the all the light, light straight up. So I want to diffuse it by using sandpaper the easy way. And but I want to prepare it first, so I'm going to check what it works. A little component tester so I do not get a whacked LED and it flashes and things yeah 2.94 volts so that's correct and as usual the long lead a long leg is the positive one and the positive side is the one that hits the resistor so we're gonna do mounting the resistor first of all almost here I think or we're gonna do a bending we could have the legs because the LED is gonna be like this and the short leg 
of LED is going to do all the way down to pin number one because we have a zero point. So we're going to do like this. I'm going to take my plier. I'm going to hold it and number one, I'm going to bend it towards me with something to help me because these are a bit too rough. Like that. Get it up over here. Second turn I'm going to do is grip it and turn it on the side. Let's see if this works. Should be working. Did I think wrong? No. So this is going, this is the short leg. It's going to go flush against the 555 five, five, and going to solder it all the way down there. So that's that one. Another one we're going to connect the resistor to that's then going to connect to a transistor. So we're going to cut down this leg. Let's see if we got some solder on it. Yeah, that worked. I'm not going to do more that and now move the stuff out of the way. Let's see. It's going to be that way towards me. So your resistor is going to be a little bit left side. Yeah, that's what's good. Now I want to do is diffuse the LED. So I'm going to use uh, 120 grit sandpaper and just rough it up. You can do it basically any way you want to, but I guess apply it was easier. And I'm also going to shave off a bit on the top. Trying to get a small flat face facing forward. With the resistor, resistor to the left, you want the flat side a bit facing forward, or I want it. You can do it any way you want. It's your build if you want to imitate me. Get a little body back. Uh, open up. Oh, come on. You can do it. Okay, we can hold in. Patrick, hold on. So now we are getting this in. I'm running both legs down here and I want, let's see, grab it, come on. Like that, and we're gonna solder leg one again. Nicely. Oh, you got a very tall, long neck. Yeah, that's nice. And now we're going to do this resistor. Turn it backwards. Now watch, because we have no insulation on anything, so do not short out things. I'm turning the leg from resistor in a U, backwards, upwards. Going to put it like that, and then grab a plier. I want this leg to turn outwards towards the transistor. Get the transistor in place a bit better. So the resistor in a U around up to the transistor leg. That's the emitter on the transistor. Look at that. So I'm not going to use leg number five. So I'm going to cut that a bit short. So I do not. Mistake the short out. Let's grab a capacitor and solder that little joint. Heat and solder. Let's see. Come on. Wake up. Ah, we got a small backpack. This is the charge and discharge resistor for the capacitor and it's going to be 30k good and that goes from number three to number one two three four five six yeah that's straight over 
We're going to put that also on the back side. Yeah, why not? Let's do number six. starting to get a jackpack on his back and let's see we have uh, my nice uh, <clears throat> what do you want to call it sketch well not too bad I have a capacitor in place I have a 30k resistor LED resistor there transistor legs so the only thing that's left is the short between 8 and 4 it's nice to do it with non-insulated cables everything is looked so much smarter but it's sometimes easier to use something insulated but i will try to find something to usable i'm just gonna make sure the leg doesn't fly around so from number four to number eight we're gonna start with leg number four some solar on Tough around this one. Turn it over. Let's see if we can get this one to grab it in the right direction. Gonna use it like this and yeah, come on. You can hold it little crocodile. Through the circuit. Now it starts to get really fiddly. And that's why we do this. People are talking about this mindful things, painting by numbers for adults. Start with electronics and you get all the mindfulness you need. Soldering leg number four. Solder. Little man is ready. You're just gonna show should make sure we do not have any shortcuts or short circuits, sorry, shortcuts are just full of and uh, looks good and I'm gonna grab a battery. Now so now we're just gonna turn it on. <clears throat> uh, look, the man is alive. A small circuit just down for the fun of it it uh just a small amount of components and you have a so yourself a breathing led man so have a good time and if you want to try this it's just a few components i will put them in the descriptions and also link to the circuit diagram i will not link to my ugly sketch because you have to do that yourself. So, have a good time. See you later.